Well, we're about halfway. We've almost gotten to Kankakee River Swampland, which I'm not describing it well, but we're almost at the end of our second loop, so we're going to turn around and come back. Yeah, we've been walking along the river the whole way, and I think up here you start to see the break. There's a fork in the river. I wanted to show kind of these homes that are here along the river. Uh, nice place to be. You got a great place for a little boat dock, but... I'm not a big fan of the cinder block and the bricks being used as erosion control. I just think that looks pretty garbagey and takes <laughs> takes away from the beauty that you're I would presume you're trying to achieve mm -hmm. by living at that location. Now maybe I'm wrong that the beauty is not in your in your calculations of living at that location, but if it's not, then why the hell are you doing this to the river? What's the purpose? Anyway, I don't, I don't like that mixed messaging. Yeah, it's a pretty aggressive way against erosion. But it seems to be the way. The way. Here, yeah. Here. Now we've been walking along this two track for, well, over three miles. It's a lot of like um, hunting posts. Lines, hunting blinds. Yeah. We've been having a big discussion on energy creation, hydropower, passive versus active, safety controls, the solar. solar. It's been fun. Yeah. And we kind of we got on it obviously because this is. Uh, human manipulated river for a purpose so i think that's how we got on the hydro we got on the passive versus active safety features because of the water control tools uh -huh. or piping here which are the things to see which are the things to see of course you could have gone to winnetka to see it yep <laughs> yep so on tower uh, sorry on winnetka avenue right at the skokie Lagoon, the forest preserve, the Skokie Lagoon Trail. There's a little bridge and there is a water containment, like the water containment here for the farmland. And then there is a mound, like what we're walking on, and a river. And the safety control is based on, in a storm, you would turn on a pump. That's an active safety control. To prevent flooding, you turn on a pump at this location and it pumps water out of the water containment area into the river, sends it downstream, and you don't flood locally. Passive would automatically send water downstream after it reached a certain height. And you see that on normal rivers with regular, uh, not locks, but uh, the so it kind of looks like a dam. The, here we saw it right at Loudon. That's where we sat on the river there at Oregon, Illinois. That, it's a dam. Yeah, it's I guess. Labeled as a dam. On okay, Google. okay. So the dam, so the water is being held upstream until it reaches a certain level and then it's allowed to go downstream. Yeah. That's a passive means of flood control. Oh, okay. No human intervention to make it work. All right, so we're coming to, well, we're coming rapidly to the to the end of the river part portion. We'll spin around with a loop and then river and then another loop. This is what this hike looks like oh, yeah. for much still, of it. Still going. Yeah. So, talk to you tomorrow.